Hi friends. I love roller coasters. Ever since I rode the corkscrew at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, when I was about 12 years old, that feeling of anticipation as the cart climbed up the track to the top, and then the feeling of excitement as it hung at the top and you could see over to what was coming next, and then finally the, the fear and the thrill of dropping and plummeting at breakneck speeds toward the bottom. Now, that visualization probably makes you think of a picture of a roller coaster you've either ridden or watched someone ride. Maybe it looks a little bit like this. You can see the twists and turns, the ups and downs, and even those loop de loos And a lot of people compare the image of the roller coaster to some of the feelings you have in a job search. And I'd like to share a little bit more about that today. There are ways to manage the ups and downs of the job search. And there are three particular words I'd like you to remember. First, share. Second, stay. And third, schedule. You might want to jot those down. So let's dig in a little deeper. First of all, share. Share your feelings with one or two safe people. What I mean when I say, with safe people, let's start at the end, people that are gonna hold what you share with them in confidence, people that are going to just listen, not necessarily offer a lot of advice, but to just hear you. What kind of feelings? Well, any of the feelings you might be having. It might be fear, it might be nervousness, it might be anger and bitterness, it might be resentment, it might be excitement. Any of those feelings are good and normal and expected to some degree, but you do need to share them to get them off your chest. The second word was stay, and that means stay active. For at least a half an hour every day, do something physical. Job search is a full-time job, and you need to make sure that you are taking care of yourself, and that means staying active half an hour of every day, Put it into your planner, schedule it in your calendar to make sure that you get that time in. And finally, schedule the work of your job search in 45-minute clock blocks of time. I came up with this term for a client of mine who was struggling getting the work done, and I asked her a little bit more about how she was scheduling her day, and she said, I, while I needed to start my resume, I decided I'd spend all afternoon on it. And I thought, that sounds good. And then about an hour and a half in, just as I expected, she started to get frustrated and angry and critical of herself. And I said, time out. Instead of four hours at a time, 45 minutes, then get up and do something different. Maybe go for that walk. Maybe get a cup of coffee with a friend. Maybe just do a different activity related to the job search, but not the same task. So schedule 45 minutes of time throughout your day to get the work of your job search accomplished. I hope these things are helpful to you, and if you have questions or would like to follow up with me, feel free to do so. Send me an email at gina at ginaconnects.com. Let me know what you think of this video, and feel free to share it with a friend.